Hey, hey, what do we have here? I like this place. Look at that. Oh, got some delay. Oh, hey. It's Eric Surf 6. Good to see you guys. Welcome to Eric Mealtime, and today we're going to do this place. I don't know what it is. It's open 24 hours. They've got a lot of different dishes. Let's go check it out. What do you say we order one of everything? Are we that hungry? Camera person? I'm getting a, yeah, a nod from the camera person. One of everything, I think that would be a bit much. A bit much. Here's one I won't be getting, liver. It looks good, but no thank you. Yeah. This one, this is my favorite right here, the Saba fish. Oh my gosh, I love this stuff. And good prices here too. Chicken namban, you can't go wrong with chicken namban. It's, it's, I believe this is the best way to eat chicken. It's so good. It's like it comes with the sauce, and then it comes with tartar sauce, so two sauces. Yeah. They got sashimi, aji fried. This is the most popular fried fish in Japan, aji fried. That's horse mackerel. A buck ninety, you can't go wrong there, huh? Bargain city. And we'll get some vegetables. There's some fried tofu there. Let's just go in. Let's quit wasting time and get in there before all the crowds arrive. What, they're already in there? So she's totaling everything up here and then you pay first. That's how it works. They also do takeout here. But I like the system. It's quick. It's very fast and efficient. And the price is right. So I've got the receipt here, itemized receipt of all the items and the total, it's 20 items total, is less than 5,000, 4,930 yen. It's like $35 and it includes two cocktails. Not bad, not bad. So I'm gonna start with this one. This is a lemon sour by Santori and it comes in one of these, I don't know, what do you call it? Cold glasses. Here, it's, it's really cold to the touch. So refreshing. It's lemonade for adults, that's what it is, and it is so cold. It's super, super cold. Okay, you get the idea. Let's start with something hot, shall we? We're not gonna go for the salads first. We're gonna go for the stuff that she heated up in the microwave for us. So, oh, look at this. We've got two types of chopsticks. If you get the choice between two types of chopsticks, plastic and wooden, do you know which one to choose? 
And why? You go wooden because they have a better grip. Plastic chopsticks, they're slippery, especially when they get wet. So go wooden. Although if you want to save the environment, go for the plastic ones because they're reusable. That's a conundrum. I'm going to go plastic. I'm going to go plastic. But for you beginners out there, choose the wood because it grips so much better. And never choose metal because you won't be eating anything. It just slides right off the sticks. Okay, enough talking. Let's get started. Going right in here for the fish. Right in here for the, not the fish. I'm going in here for this. I don't know what that is. I'm going in here over here. This is the nasu. Nasu and pork, grilled pork, marinated goodness. Look at that, all kinds of things in here. Lots of onions. There's the nasu right there. Eggplant. Mm. Oh. This is a hearty dish. These grilled onions are fabulous. There's green beans in here, carrots. And the pork, thinly sliced, marinated. It's, this is delicious. Oh my gosh, the juiciness of the eggplant. Mm. We could end the meal right here and I would be happy. Right. Mm. Okay, next up, we're gonna go for the tofu. The tofu is calling me the wobbly tofu. We'll hit it with some shoyu. Lots of shoyu. Have I shown you the show you lately? What brand is it today? Can you guys read that? You see that on there? It's Yamasa, Yamasa brand. Yamasa show you. Okay, going in for the tofu. It's got scallions and shoga ginger and some daikon radish. Okay, served cold. Mm. Mmm. There's something about tofu. There's a, there's a pureness to it. Very satisfying when you eat it. Kind of like drinking hot green tea. It's hard to describe. You just have to try it yourself. And a lot of flavors going on here. Mmm. I used to think that tofu tasted like baby food. And it still does. It's the, the trick is you gotta have the shoyu, you gotta have the ginger, and you gotta have the daikon radish and the scallions. That just totally changes the game. Yeah. Okay, next up, let's do another salad. This is wakame sea plants with little white bait fish on top and a little bit of What's that? What's that animal? It's not an animal, this is a vegetable. It's called a cucumber. And it's in a vinegar sauce that I do not like. Straight up, do not like vinegar. It spoils the taste of everything. Oh. And 10 times as sour as lemonade. But Japanese love it. Okay, moving on to the fish. This is the saba or horse mackerel. Probably my favorite fish in Japan. I eat this the most often, I would say. There we go, we got a clean piece out of it, didn't we? Mmm. Wow, oh, it's a meaty fish. And it's flavored nicely, salted. It's great. It comes with the daikon radish if you want to season it up more. And the way that this works, the daikon radish, you hit it with shoyu and mix it together. It gives it the salt. So you can dip it in that or you can put this on top. However you want to do it. Go on in. Mm. Oh. So meaty. It's like eating a steak. Oh. Not dry, it's juicy. It's cooked just right. The skin is delicious. 
Oh my gosh, it's, I think it's the perfect fried fish, basically. Oh my gosh, it's good. Saba, or horse mackerel. Okay, slight correction there. There's no horse with this saba, it's just mackerel. Okay, the other type is the, it's the aji is the other type of fish that's horse, horse mackerel. It's the smaller one that I didn't get. Oh, I did get it, it's right here. This is the horse mackerel, done fried. So, yeah, sorry about that. I'm getting mixed up sometimes. But it's still mackerel. Yeah. The best mackerel. Yeah. Uh, okay, I think I'm, I'm gonna move on to the tonjiru. Let's do the tonjiru. This is a pork-based soup stock with mostly daikon radish, it looks like, and lots of different vegetables, stewed vegetables. Where's the beef? Not the beef, where's the pork? Mm. Oh, it's a hearty soup, it'll fill you out. There's onions in here. Carrots. Koniaku type of potato. And that's that pork, pork broth soup. There's just not much meat in here, but, but the soup tastes like meat. That's about all you get. Yeah. No problem. No problem. As the meat is right here. This is one of my favorite meat dishes in Japan. It's called chicken namban. It's got two sauces. It's got a tangy sauce on it, and then it's got a, like a tartar sauce, a mayonnaise-based sauce. And it's served over kind of a bed of cabbage. So, you Western people out there that watch the videos, trust me, you'd love this. It's super high calorie. That's why. It's amazing. Oh. 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 It's creamy, it's tangy, oh, it's soft. It's, it's the best way to do chicken, in my opinion. Oh my God. So good. The camera person always eats. I'm gonna take a quick break here for the camera person. I can tell, camera person's gone. Like that. Yeah, camera person always eats. T-shirt coming soon. This drink is really hard to get through. It's, it's, it's big. Oh, that's why they call it. It's called Mega. It's, it's called, no, it's not called Mega. It's called Deka. Deka. But the meaning is Mega. Deka means Dekai in Japanese. It means Mega. Mega large size. If it said Mega, I would buy it for Mega. But it doesn't say Mega, it says Deka. I will finish this eventually. Okay, so moving on to the potato salad, ladies and gentlemen. This looks, I'm gonna say pretty standard, pretty standard. Very standard. However, we have some togarashi red chili flakes, chili pepper flakes. Give it a little spice, just a little bit. Now, Did we bring it alive? That's the question. Oh, it's served over some, what is that? It's got cucumbers and lettuce. Hmm. You know what, it's actually, it's pretty creamy. It's got a lot of mayonnaise in it. Yeah, it's tasty. And there's a sweetness too. Yeah, okay, good, moving on. This is deep fried tofu, served hot, or at least it was hot. Look at how thick that sauce is. Oh my goodness. Okay, so if, you, if you're new to tofu, deep fried is the way to eat it because it changes the texture. It's not gooey anymore. It's, it's what? It's solid. Hmm. Oh yeah. Oh yeah, that's delicious. It's got the scallions, mostly kind of salty, a little bit of sweetness, good. All the way around, good, yeah. 
And this is an interesting one here, this dish. This is called tororo. It's a type of potato, mountain potato. A gooey potato, if you will. And it comes with the raw egg and looks like some nori seaweed flakes on top there, dried seaweed. So you mix it up and you, and you add just a little tiny bit of shoyu, not too much. Give it some saltiness. And ideally a spoon would be the way to eat this. So instead we will sip it. Mm. Rice to the rescue. Mm. Overall, I need something to drink. Oh. It's fairly pleasant when you have it with the rice directly afterwards. Kind of like taking a shot of tequila and then getting that lime, that bite of lime in there and swallowing really quick. That, it's necessary. But the real way you're supposed to eat this is after you mix it up, you pour it on top of the rice and you eat them together. I'm not very good at combining my foods. This is how you do it in Japan. I mean, no difference. It's the same thing as what I just did. No difference. Next up, ladies and gentlemen, is the sashimi. Are you happy to sashimi? I'm happy to sashi you. That's right. Let's hit it with the shoyu, shall we? Separate, separate dish for the shoyu. Okay, and we've got some wasabi here. Wasabi. Some sea plants. And this is served over a bed of shredded daikon radish, the white ones there. That's too much wasabi. That is too much. Do not put that much on. You know what? On second thought, it's not too much wasabi because this is, this is mixed very, it's mixed with something. To, uh, to make it less potent, right? And generally, the lighter the color, I think, means the less spicy it is, in general. Yeah, the fish is really good. It's really thick cut, Mago Dal Tuna, it's nice. And another cocktail is here. It has been here for a while. Let's try it out. This is another, it's a lemon sour, but this is the real lemon doll, right? It's not the type that the last drink was. So you're gonna squeeze it yourself and try not to spill it. Half a lemon going in. Okay, let's do it. In you go. Perfect. Give it a stir with the choppers. You can flip your chopstick around and it's a stir stick, basically. That's how it works. All right, here we go. Let's see. Suntory versus, this is actually a beer maker. Suntory versus the real lemon. This is tricky. You know, this is sweeter. This is sweeter. This tastes better. This is better. It's definitely better. Yeah. 10 times better. Yeah. Okay. It's going for another piece of Magura here. I'm gonna choose. I love the color and the texture of this fish. Generally, the lighter color is more fatty. Generally, not always the case, but like right here, this part at the end is kind of like chew total, which is really what? I don't want to say juicy, but 
really soft, melt in your mouth type of stuff. Mmm. Yeah, it's like half and half. So, oh, so good. And don't forget to get some of the daikon radish. Just kind of cleanses the palate a little bit. Mm. Don't be afraid to try the seed plants. Wakame seaweed. Tastes good with the show you. Oh yeah. Mm. And finally we've got some burdock root and lotus. Bur no, burdock root? Yeah, it's a burdock is a root, isn't it? Burdock root and lotus root. And I sprinkled some sesame seeds on top. Mmm. Mmm. Oh, there's some meat in here, too. Look at that. Bonus. Some chicken. Going for the burdock root. I'm really a fan of the root plants. Mm-hmm. Big fan. Tasty. It's in a it's in a rich smoky shoyu, if you will. Very nice. Very nice. Fresh lemon sour for the wind. Squeeze it yourself. I'll definitely be doing this again. Oh yeah. And the next item up for bids on the prices right is, this is called sardines. I thought it was shishamo, a different type of fish, but these are bigger. So yeah, sardines are iwashi in Japanese. How much would you pay? And you can't go over on the price. You gotta guess, put it down in the comments. And the answer will be down in the comments too. The answer will be in the video description. Okay, here we go. Camera version all of it. So salty. But <clears throat> doable. Yeah. And you eat the bones and everything. That's what I like. I like fish where you can eat the bones. You can just you just chomp it up and then swallow it. Good. All right, moving on. This is the Aji Fry or horse. Proper horse mackerel. And I think for sauce, you actually put sauce on it, not show you. You put like a, this is a thick bulldog type of sauce, tangy sauce. And you go heavy on that because that's what gives it the flavor. Or you could do tartar sauce too. And this is, it's a pretty good slab, a pretty good chunk of fish. Okay, on it. Oh yeah. Oh yeah. The magic of the sauce with the thick breading on it. And it's it's a it's a dark, I don't know, can you say dark meat fish? The, the inside is dark. Meaning it's got flavor. It's a it's a heavy fish, meat like. See the dark the darkness inside there? <clears throat> oh yeah. And the sauce just brings it alive. Okay, we are getting down to the last couple of dishes here. This is some rolled scrambled egg. And I'm being informed to eat it as is. Don't put any toppings on it. It's flavored and ready to go. Hmm. This is good. Slightly salted and no traces of sugar. This is good. Well, typically, it's got sugar and it ruins it for me. No sugar. It's good. It's quality scrambled egg. 
rolled egg. It's rolled. I, I gotta show you guys one day how to make it. I have a video somewhere if I could dig it up, but, but I'll, I'll make a proper video and try to cook it myself. It's a special skillet that allows you to roll the egg in layers and you have to be really accomplished chef to be able to do it correctly. Okay, anyhow, to be continued for that. Dessert is served, ladies and gentlemen. This is the stinky, are they stinky? Yeah, yeah, they are stinky. Stinky, slimy, fermented natto beans. So first you have to mix them up to get them into the gooey, slimy texture, okay? Because you don't want to eat them like this, otherwise you, you can't swallow them if you're eating them like this, because they don't break down. So you gotta make it, you gotta make it into like a a caramel texture, if you will. Okay. It takes a while. It takes a while. So in the other class, we can speed this up. This is at least seven minutes. Getting a workout on the wrist here. <laughs> The aroma is just spreading throughout the room. Yeah. That's not bad. Not bad. The first time is bad. I'm used to it. Not used to eating it, but used to smelling it. All right, that's it. We're just, we're going to go here. Is that right, camera person? Is that about right? Moto? More? I would do more, but okay. They're saying it's a... I'm getting it all clear. I'm going to dump some of this. Wait, let's do the... Oh, you got to do the egg. The egg first, and then the show you. Okay, there's the egg, and yeah, mix that up well. Raw egg, not too excited about that. We'll use the remaining shoyu here, and then add some more shoyu, not too much, about there. Hit it with just a touch of the togarashi spice, not too much. And then dab, just a dab, a dab. Do not overdo this of the bulldog. Just a dab, a dab, a dab. It's just, it's just, trust me. Getting a heavy no from the camera for heavy no, like if that's against the rules. Oh yeah, I just ruined the texture. Oops. Yeah, I think that wasn't a big fail. My bad. Okay, let's man up and do this. Ready? And then you dump it over the rice. I mean, it's, it's a dump, it's a literal dump. And you feast away. Yeah. Can you guys feel the excitement? Uh, I'm not feeling it. Okay, let's do this. bad as I had expected. Hmm. It's all right. Hmm. I mean, it's gooey. It's stinky. The texture is just horrible. It does not taste good at all. But somehow, but somehow, I'm a literal mess, dripping, foaming at the mouth, gooeyness all over my fingers. But I'm not throwing up. Mission accomplished. Lemon sour to the rescue. Nope. Got rid of 
rid of it. The smell's gone. Yeah, it's good. I mean, it's not good. It's horrible. It's a yuck. It's definitely a yuck. No question about it. It's a one out of six. But the overall ranking on the meal today, I mean, this type of place, by the way, let me get the terminology right. This is called a Taishu Shokudo. Taishu means public, Shokudo means kind of eating place. And loosely translated, it's public dining. So I like it. I like it. It's fast, service is good, the food quality is, is definitely up there. With the exception of the natto, but I mean, that's just, it's an acquired taste. And I will acquire the taste. That's my goal in life. It's on my bucket list. Acquire the taste for natto. Stinky fermented beans. But I think overall, the value is just amazing here. And all the dishes were really tasty. I enjoyed it all. I took a long time to eat, and that's what I would recommend. You gotta have, you carve out two hours to come eat at one of these places. And then you can try everything on the menu. It's awesome. Yeah. So the prices will be listed down below. You guys can check out what things cost or it's in the, uh, the chapters. That's the easiest way to do it, right? You can kind of see if you guys are into that. But uh, six out of six, it's lit, yo. And we had good lighting. It was definitely lit. The lighting was good in this place. That's a bonus. And uh, they said we could film with the, the big camera. So I think, we got, I think we got quality audio. It's not gonna be a viral video because nobody cares about these kind of videos. But to me, this is a really special video. And it's nice to do like a different type of place than usual. So I'm really happy to discover this place. And they're all over the Tokyo. They're in the kind of the city areas you can find these places. And yeah, highly recommended. So what happens when you do a six out of six ranking? I give away three of them, I get some snack packs. If you're not familiar, there'll be a link down below. You can click it and see what's inside to get some snack pack. But basically it's goodies from Japan that I assemble, hand pick, pack up myself and send off to you guys as my thanks for watching the videos. So put a comment down below for your chance to win and I will select three winners and announce them in the next Eric Mealtime. Thank you guys so much for watching. Cheers out.